I'm gonna show you how to remove uh, the three wheel free wheel. Um, so first you have to remove the, the rear wheel. Uh, I recommend removing the knot from the side of the free wheel just to clear out what you're gonna do. And you're gonna need this part two, this pa mm -hmm. slash two to remove this part. Um, so they have these two little pins where you're gonna match with this two over here. So you have to open it a little wider. And kind of, I think it's either front or rear. Normally it should supposed to be counterclockwise, but it's kind of hard. Let's be careful with that. If you feel like it's super tight like this one, I would recommend to use an L, something they hit on one of the sides and the hammer. There's an L or there's this pointy stuff that you can use just to hit it. Now it release. You can see it's coming out. On this one, luckily, he just came out apart the whole entire thing, which is way better. Because sometimes he just the cap came off from the free wheel, but in this case, it was different, so it was easier. Where the whole thing came off in one piece. Usually you end up taking that apart in pieces and that gets destroyed in order to get it off. So we have a document on the on the side where you can see that this part sometimes they just came out by, by itself. It's just the cover of the whole thing and you can see the bearings inside here. So inside the bearings so you can remove the whole entire gear. And then on the inside from this part where the threads are, so you can use um, something to hold the the one piece here and you can just make a pair of pliers so like a this. pair of uh, channel locks like this one so you can go like this hold it and remove once you get these off once you get yeah. this off yeah but that's it